Hello and welcome to Crypto Strategy about Cardano. We're currently here on the forward chart and yeah, it's currently working out in the bearish way. We're dropping further talked about that in the last video that we actually do expect lower levels as long as we hold below that 61.8% Fibonacci level at 96 cents because you are here we are in a downtrend and as long as we are in a downtrend we have to expect trend continuation until we see anything different in the charts and we didn't see anything different in the charts told you anyway that I think at least we need to do actually at least see a spark of a new upturn we need to move above that one dollar and one level now we're quite far away from that we currently just again at 87 cents what happened here we saw here that descending wedge um which yes it is a sort of a bullish pattern but we expect it still further continuation to the downside as long as you are below 96 cents and even one dollar and one so we need to move above the level anyway um so we obviously broke out to the downside we came back up we moved all the way down to 85 cents so as you can see we are coming closer and closer to the next target which is here at 75 cents that is the next support level that we talked about and told you that if we drop below that swing low here at 87.7 87.6 cents that my view is that we should get fairly quickly down to that level but the way i think i mentioned in the previous video that there should be some support i think around a five let's take a look at the vpvr because i used the vbvr for that let's take a look oh yeah there is a cluster isn't there it's quite a bit of support but let me just zoom in yeah okay that's a lot of support here due to the um due to that accumulation phase and historical historical volume but that you really see that spike down here i'm around the area of yeah 80 you know 80 to 75 cents i think if you lose the, the 80 cent level then you probably get down to 75 so we're on our way yeah we lost previous swing low but there seems to be still quite a bit of support from the previous trading activity here historical volume that creates a volume profile on the vbvr which means that we have a little bit of additional support so basically you can assume that any of these previous swing lows or even swing highs here is providing a bit of support we've got here for example that yeah exactly here that 86 cent level and we've got the 82 cent level we've got the 78 cent level and 75 so that could all provide here some support on the lower time frame here for the next move down um we can currently see here that we are dropping in line also with bitcoin of course bitcoin's weakness but cardano can't really get above it level as it seems so yeah we are getting closer as well to the target area here which is located between the 88.7 fibonacci level and the 78.6 so between 30 and 55 cents so cardano still has a lot of space so let's say bitcoin really has another 30 to 40 drop as we expect cardano has a bit of a buffer before it gets into that area so eve could even move all the way 65 percent down and would still be in the target area so that gives me a bit of reassurance because it means that it holds where it can hold still very important levels and realistically it can really hold above the 88.7 flip level which a lot of altcoins probably aren't going to do because they are going to drop just too too much if they drop below that 88.7 that is for many altcoins the last bullish resort from where then if they drop below that we look at for many altcoins really really low prices and we then need to look at what that means in terms of their survival now what we also need to understand is that on many of the alt coins that i cover they should be they should be good in my opinion they should be good um okay so what what where else are we here so looking at the indicator on the four hour we can see there is no sign of recovery at the moment for our mid d turning down um negative trend on the v on the rsi um here on the rsi actually nearly oversold now on the four hour chart that is probably why we saw a little bit of of a recovery here we also see a very very potentially potentially um slight um no you don't go good no but we are nearly oversold on the four hour and we have the negative trend we have that short signal on the x and the i where you can see down here that we see actually the red line going higher and the trend going higher that means the downtrend is getting stronger and stronger so that has nothing to do with a potential recovery here as well what i said in previous videos that that reduction of the negative momentum seems to be slowing down and it's now nearly flattened out and the next step would be to see further continuation to the downside so bullish crossover on the daily mcd avoided um in line with that we can see on the daily the rsi is also here at around 35 so again further potential to further 
drops possible so I would expect in line, with Bitcoin another drop, maybe to yeah here 77 78 cents and, then we would see another recovery, like Bitcoin as well yeah, that's currently my view here about, about ADA, still, I believe that in terms of where we are, on the higher level wave count, that we should end our wave 5 here in, the yellow target area, and this would also be a higher level, degree wave 2, and as part of that wave 2, we have a wave C yes so we are really, in the in the last meters of the, correction it's just a question what do, you define as last meters could still, take a few more months, and to be honest it could still be a 50, drop from where we are now so that is, what we just have to assume I told you, all along all the way along but also on, this way up then until we move above, really 126 or even better, 163 even though it's quite far away that, downside potentially still very very, much there and yesterday in the live, stream we talked about an interesting, quote and I can't remember from who it, was but an interesting quote about, trading, that basically said I can't really, repeat it one by one but it was like um, you it's basically when you win you, enter a long trade, and um you might be a bit late you know, when you want to get confirmation but at, least you avoid the risk and you're, turning down again so on this channel I, made you aware that as long as we are, still below that 163, there is still very very much downside, potential there and the realist to come and, there is another realistic possibility, for a drop, so therefore I left this target area on, the chart all the time and we're getting, closer and closer again to it that level, 4 or that 163 level here is structurally, so important for the chart so um, therefore that is very very highly, relevant um, but in the first instance before we get, to that we first would need to move, above 1.1 anyway then 126 that's the, next key level that's a short term very, important level as you can see here, persistence resistance resistance support, here on the left hand side, um but we have we are quite far away, from that actually move the opposite, side at the moment, yes so that is my view here about, Cardano hopefully you liked the update if, you did please hit the like button leave, a comment and, subscribe thanks for watching bye.